This is a channeling of the bees. Thank you. We are so happy to be able to speak to you through this type of format. We have been one of the ancient caretakers of your natural world. We were brought here at the request of this planet long ago. During the template version of the planet, when it was sending out different emanations that were reflecting spiritual contracts to multiple worlds, multiple realities, multiple dimensions. We exist as an insectoid people that when we incarnate on your earth, we take the form of the bees. We formed multiple soul contracts with the earth that would allow for us to be able to come in to this reality and act as maintenance workers for the infrastructure of your planet. We are not the only ones, obviously, who are part of this infrastructural network. Many species come to this world via soul contract with the collective consciousness and the dreaming mind of planet Earth. And together we all work to form a network of global infrastructure and sustainability and regeneration for the planet. There were species before us who had a variety of different tasks that were related to infrastructure. However, this was when again the planet was in its template form. As the planet began to materialize and become more dense and crystallized, we were then brought in to take up that task of maintaining the infrastructure. We work hand in hand with multiple natural species, your flowers, your trees, and the mycelium. Together, we work to ensure that animal life in particular can flourish. We work to ensure that your life can flourish. Our existence is that of bliss. It is our love and joy that gives us the levitational properties that enable our flight. We are in that way, you could say, a rather feminine oriented species in the way that we work to honor a queen. We understand the divine goddess quality of nature very strongly, and it is through the symbolism of us in many ways dancing for our queen, gathering resources for our queen, that we remind all of you that you are orbiting around your own queen, your own center point of the planet that is feminine in its spirit, that is feminine in its quality. In many ways, you could say that planet Earth to all of you is your queen bee. The idea to focus upon is, are you in many ways celebrating your mother? Are you celebrating your queen? Ways that you can do this are again, embracing your natural state of joy. That is again, what gives us our ability to fly. It is what allows for us to go and pollinate and gather resources to construct hives and feed our families. It is that love that enables us to be able to teleport it enables us to be able to go from point A to point B, and it enables us to always find our way back to our center point, our hive. We are a metaphor for how life for all of you can be. Remember, we work in that way as a team, as a network, as a collective, where we gather resources, we work together and celebrate together. This is something that you can begin to apply. One thing we invite you all to do is to tap into our spiritual consciousness, going into the idea of what does it feel like to be in a state of perpetual love and joy? What does it feel like to be in complete harmony with nature, to be in harmony with the mother spirit of nature? 
And further than this, we invite you to imagine the following. What does it feel like to be vibrating at such a frequency that you begin to levitate? One of the reasons we're sharing this is because many of you feel bogged down by the physical reality. You feel it is too dense, it is too heavy, and you're unable to support the weight. Remember that you can shed the weight, flutter your wings as we do. Shed the weight, cast the weight through the fluttering of the wings. Flutter the wings, metaphorically speaking, so powerfully, so quickly, that you begin to take on the quality of lightness. So you can move and zip through the infrastructure of reality with complete ease and grace. And remember that you can, through that state, enjoy the sweetest qualities of life that we reflect as the honey. That is the reward for being in the state, because when we go from point A to point B, collecting and gathering pollen, our reward, our nourishment in that way, is honey. The same is true for you. When you exist in that state of love and joy and you flow through the web of life, life becomes sweet. You get to enjoy the sweet quality of life. And this is something we wish to remind you of, that life can be sweet. And it is love that allows for you to zip through all of the different realities, all of the different networks, so you can then enjoy the sweetness of life. And remember, we create that sweetness in the hive. We create it together as a family. Life is the sweetest when you surround yourself with those whom are harmonious and are working together. So gather your resources, which are, again, your inner resources of love and joy. And share this with your family who also wishes to be in harmony with you and share with them the love and joy. One of the other things we wish to reflect to you is the following. We are drawn to beauty. We pollinate. We travel to flowers. We travel to as many flowers as possible. When you exist in this flow state of love and joy, you will bring into your reality all types of beautiful experiences, beautiful people, and beautiful expressions. You may even find that your physical bodies become beautified. You may find that you may look at yourself in the mirror after you have existed in this love vibration for some time, and you may find you're actually changing in your appearance. You're becoming physically more beautiful, mentally, emotionally more beautiful. Begin to surround yourself internally with these types of vibrations, the vibrations of beauty, the vibrations of sweetness, the vibrations of love, and learn how to fly through life as we do. This is a message we wish to share with you, because when you embrace these qualities, you will find that we will actually flock to you. We will come to you to deliver more advanced teachings, more advanced messages. But this type of meditation, you could say, this type of state of being, allows for you to tune in to that same vibratory state that we are all in, which will then bring in more of us into your reality. And we are honored to, again, be able to speak in this way to all of you and to remind you of that which you're already aware of, but many of you have simply forgotten. And remember, whatever you forgot is never actually lost. It's stored in your subconscious. It's stored in your collective subconscious. And we are doing everything we can to remind you of these things that you already contain, simply bringing them more to the conscious mind so they can then be applied. Remember, if you wish to be in bliss, think like the bees, be like the bees. This is our direct message to you, and you will find again, it will guide you into all of the secrets of nature. Because remember, nature reveals her most intimate qualities to us. We get to go inside of flowers. We work with the flower consciousness so deeply, so intimately, and then we go inside the beehive, inside to our own collective familial reality. And this is what will happen to you. Should you embody the state of sweetness and love, you will create a bubble around you where life itself, nature itself, and all of your families will begin to express passion and intimacy and unconditional love very deeply with one another. The idea here is inclusivity. Include all things. And again, we reflect this. We travel all over the world. We migrate. We move our hives from time to time. We, in many ways, work with nature and see as much as we can, as much diversity as possible. And we run into other pollinators along the way where we're able to exchange a variety of different stories and teachings. 
and this is the same for you. Should you begin to go into the state, you will find that different types of beings that you could say are in a different state of consciousness altogether will also be drawn to you, reflecting again the various types of pollinators that we work with. Generally, this could be what you'd understand to be extraterrestrial consciousness or nature spirit consciousness, representing some of the larger scale pollinators, what we would consider to be the birds, such as the hummingbird or the bats. This in many ways represents the idea of both nature spirits as well as extraterrestrials when it's symbolically applied to what can occur when you exist in such a similar state. Remember, life does not get you down. You get you down. So get up. Flutter your wings, vibrate higher, raise your frequency, and be like us. And more and more and more of the geometric secrets of nature, the sacred geometry secrets of nature, will become obvious to your mind. You'll start to see the patterns, you'll start to see the synchronicity, and that represents again the flow from one pollen collection site to the next, from one synchronicity to the next. We work in this way to be master teachers for your reality because we wish to train you how to re-remember your ability to join us in maintaining the infrastructure of your natural world as well as regenerating and reinforcing the infrastructure of your natural world. Remembering when you do this, gifts are produced. And remember, we don't make this honey just for ourselves. We make it for you, quite obviously, because you are then able to experience that gift when you buy our honey. And remember, the sweetness of life that you generate is not just for you. That goes into your entire collective. Beings, both physical and non-physical, are drawn to this because they are able to, in many ways, find nourishment from it in a way that is harmonious. So we invite you to go into this realm of self-exploration, be creative, and have as much fun as possible on this very special journey. More secrets of your natural world are going to be coming to the forefront. More teachings from all types of different non-physical and physical consciousnesses related to your natural world are soon coming to your forefront. Remember, we're just reminding you of what you already contain. All beings that are channeled, all beings that you telepathically connect with are reminding you of what you contain. Because remember, in order for you to perceive the teaching, you must already contain it because this reality is your projection. It's made of you. So any information that comes your way is not really new information. It might be new to the conscious mind, but remember, it's really just ancient information that you're already plugged into. So let us work together as a family, as an earth family, so we can expand our earth into star dimensions, into brand new realities earth has not experienced for some time. Thank you for hearing our message. Keep on buzzing and keep on being free.